Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to show you guys how to export videos from Microsoft PowerPoint. And this is incredibly useful, and it's something that I use a lot with my videos for YouTube, is where you can create animations in PowerPoint and then export that as an MP4. Um, if you find this video useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to PowerPoint. Okay, so here I am just in PowerPoint, and this is one of the overlays that I use for my um, videos on YouTube. So if I just um, quickly go to the uh, slideshow here and click play, I'll show you what this looks like. Um, let me just remove my webcam and then we'll click through. So as you can see, this basically comes up uh, and runs through a series of animations. Um, and those basically then present on the screen like so. Um, and it's incredibly uh, useful if you're um, wanting to kind of um, create your own animated um, videos in uh, PowerPoint and export those for use in some form of a video editing software. Um, in my case, I use HitFilm um, Express um, and green screen uh, and chroma key, basically the background out of these overlays. So it's quite um, a powerful function depending on what you want to use it for. Um, and it's actually really simple to do. So what I'm going to do is just open up the um, animation pane here. So you can see that I have a series of different animations um, and I won't go into details on how to do animations in this video, more just about the exporting of the video itself. Okay. Um, but each of these are timed, okay? So I have a series of animations um, and some play all at the same time. Um, some play after a series of other uh, animations have occurred um, and so forth. And you have the full control over here. So you have the entrance animations, um, a during kind of like a, a main animation uh, and then an exit animation as well. Okay, and um, you can basically just run all those animations, put all your timings in place, and then you'll end up with something that I have created here. Now, if you guys want uh, a video to kind of demonstrating how I did this, um, then leave a comment down below and I'll get that covered um, in the coming weeks. Um, and then I'll show you how to exactly create something like this. Um, alternatively, if you are really interested in this kind of animation, uh, let me know and I'll also um, maybe you know, share the file with you guys if you want. Um, okay, so let's just assume that we have everything set up exactly as we need it to be. Um, so I have my animations all timed out and it's looking perfectly fine. In order to actually export this, what we want to do is head over to the ribbon and click on the file button. From here, what we want to do is actually hit the export um, option just here next to the close. And then you're presented with various different options. Okay, so we have the create a video, create an animated GIF, um, package it for a CD, create handouts, change the file type, etc., etc. Right. Um, what we want to do is actually create a video. Okay, so we're going to give that a click. Then you are presented with a few different options. Right. So there's the full HD, the 1080p. Um, we can go ultra HDs for 4K. Um, now, obviously, you want to, in my case, I, I go for 1080p because I want to match up with um, my webcam, okay, so that I'm not shooting certain parts of video in 4K and then it's not matching up with the rest of the video. So for me, it's 1080p, but you might want to, you know, go for ultra 4K um, or your 720 or standard 480, whatever suits your needs, select the right option there, okay? So I'm just going to go with the 1080 because that's um, what I do. Um, don't need record timers and narration. So I generally, for my videos, I don't worry about any of this stuff. Um, I just leave that as is. I don't need to know the timings and I don't need narrations. And then it's the second spent on each slide. Now this is important. Okay, depending on um, the, 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 the slides that you have set up, if you've got multiple slides with multiple animations, the duration spent on each slide is really important. Um, otherwise, you might spend a lot of time actually in, um, in edit, trying to basically edit your slide durations um, to make them longer or shorter. Now, personally, I prefer to actually make these longer than shorter and then I can just cut out the parts I don't need in between my slides um, if that makes it easier. That makes my editing a lot more efficient later on. Um, so generally I'll either go for something like a 10 seconds 
and depending on the type of animations or in the ones that I'm using uh, in this example, I would go for a 20 second slide. Um, and that's because I'm changing the text within um, the animation. Okay, so I want some time for people to be able to digest what is being written there before um, it moves on to the next slide. Okay, so with that done, the next thing you do is actually create the video. And then you can just basically find a location. Um, so for me, it's just going to be here. Um, give it a name um, and then uh, a title, so MP4, um, and then click Save. Then what's going to happen in the bottom right-hand corner here is it's actually going to have this little progress bar, and it's going to go through and show you the progress in converting your slides into an MP4 format. And once that is done, um, your MP4 will be in the folder that you saved it into and ready to use. So in my case, I would then take that into HitFilm Express and edit um, or chroma key the background out, um, leaving just the animation that I would like above um, all the videos that are playing in the background. Um, and that is it, guys. It is as easy as that to basically go about exporting um, a video out of um, PowerPoint into an MP3, MP4 format. Um, obviously, I didn't really talk much about how to do the animations, but if that's something that you're interested in, then do let me know and I will create a video on uh, the progress of creating, uh, or the process of creating those animations. Okay, um, if you found this useful, you know what to do and I will catch you in the next video.